Welcome to Weld.com. We've been doing a series of videos on gas metal arc welding modes of metal transfer. In the first week we did short circuiting. This week we're going to do globular transfer. We're using the same gas that we used on short circuiting, 75% argon, 25% CO2. We're using 030 wire on a ESOB Rebel EMP215 machine. And <clears throat> the difference between short circuiting and globular is short circuiting is doing just that. It's that crispy bacon frying sound and globular is hotter in values. It's more voltage and more wire feed speed. So the weld pool overall is more fluid. To me, it becomes a little bit unstable. It has a little more spatter to it. <clears throat> And some people kind of swear by um, hot globular all the time. They weld hot and everything. And to me, it's like, if I'm gonna weld that hot, then I'm gonna change gas and go into yet another mode, which is what we're gonna get into, and that's called the spray mode. So, to keep things simple, I'm gonna establish a baseline on a test plate here. You can see that I've been running a bunch of beads here. And I wanna start out with values of 20.5 volts, 250 inches per minute. And I want to play around with some values and kind of set the machine and I want to throw some welds down on uh, 10 gauge laps, 10 gauge fillet. Uh, we'll do a quarter inch fill and we'll play around here and show you some applications with it. Let me get my hood, I'll be right back. Oh, there's my hood right there. Okay, I've got a test plate here. <clears throat> and I picked these values because I wanted to bring it up a little bit and I, I want you to hear and see what this is like. Should be kind of should be kind of wet and fluid, and it might be a little unstable, and I'll adjust that here in a sec. But let me see where I'm at for baseline here. Kind of loud, kind of popping. Bead looks okay though. That's what's strange about this process to me. So because of that, and because it was kind of popping and heavy, I want to bring the wire feeds, I want to leave the voltage alone. I want to bring the wire feed speed up. I was at 250, I'm going to 275, and I want to run another bead, see if I can't quiet this down a little bit. I essentially want this wire to be dancing right on top of the pool. I still don't like it. The bead looks okay, but I don't like what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing. I wanna tighten that up even more. I was at 275, I'm going to 300 inches a minute. 20.5. Okay, I think I could go just a little bit more on that wire feed speed. I'm up to 300, I'm gonna to go to 325. That is a, to me, on 030 wire, that's, that's a pretty hot globular process, like a heavy short arc. It doesn't sound near as crispy as short arc. And again, it's throwing a little bit of spatter. It becomes unstable the higher we go. We can play around here and go real high in numbers. I've changed this up a little bit. I went up to uh, 22 volts, 420 on the wire feed speed. I want you to see a remarkable difference here. This is quite a bit hotter, uh, heavier pop. It's throwing a little bit of spatter, but the bead looks okay. 030 wire, this is different than 035 or even 045. We're gonna get a lot different values. This particular weld, or this particular joint configuration, um, I welded it with short arc in video 
in, the, in last week's video, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to weld this with these settings in the globular transfer. So the only thing I can really adjust at this point is my travel speed. I'm going to have to go a lot faster. As I look at this weld, <clears throat> it's okay. I, you know, personally, I think it's a little too hot. It is crowned up versus the short arc. I'm pouring a lot more heat into it. You know, and again, I'm going faster. Is it okay? Sure. You know, it's great. Some people love this process. I just, over the years, have not, you know, since there's a little more spatter involved with it, I don't like cleaning up the spatter. Next weld we'll do we did this with the short arc. We'll put a weld of globular down right next to it. You know, fillet weld. Okay, this weld here laid in there fairly nice. Again, it's got a little more crown to it. I'm going faster. You know, if you wanted to compare the two processes of short arc versus globular on this type of material and this type of joint configuration, this is definitely faster. Then I want to weld this one slightly downhill just to show, I'm going to get some quick speed out of it. Try to go nice and fast. Pretty fast weld, uh, laid in there nicely. The edges are wetted in to the, on the toe of the weld. Little crown to it, a little bit of spatter. Is it okay? Sure. You know, I'd do that kind of stuff. Uh, how heavy of stuff can we go with here? I've grabbed some 3 8 plate that I'm gonna, <clears throat> and I increased the values. I went up to 435 on the wire feed speed. I know this sounds like a big number, but again, that's 030 wire, not 035. So, you know, here's a, here's a decent application. If we're not spraying and if we're changing back and forth from thin material to thick material, you have all this, these values, you have this big range that you can weld in. So, you know, 3 8 plate, we can drive a good fillet weld in here. I'll actually slow down and build this weld up a little bit. This weld here, you know, it looks like a decent fillet weld. It's like super hot, short arc, globular, um, you know, you, and it drives into the throat of the weld pretty well. I want to change values and go up even more. I want to get this on the real high end here and do the second part of this fillet weld. I changed the values on that weld up to 24 and 475 on the wire feed speed. And surely you were able to see that and see that glob bouncing on top of the weld pool and everything. Applications for it? Absolutely. Uh, you know, you can get by and do a lot of fab, a lot of stuff with one bottle of gas, 7525. So again, we want to kind of analyze all these different modes of metal transfer, how to set them, where to use them, stuff like that. So I hope you found the content educational. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching Weld.com. I'm Bob Moffat. Just do it. Where's my lens? What lens? My doubler lens. I gave that back to you. No, you didn't. It's in your bag. No.
It didn't. You just had it out a while ago, shooting your crappy little B-roll stuff that you roam around here and do. Do it.